I grew up um, in a predominantly Mexican-American community. To tell you the truth, I didn't have a pediatrician. I, you know, I got all of my care at kind of school-based clinics. I got all, all of my shots when there was health fairs. We know of a lot of kids in the Hispanic community who are the very first trying to do something. And, you know, ultimately their families came here to give them the opportunities to do something, but it's it's really hard when you don't when you don't see people like you in the positions that you're striving to to you know to go into or in a career that you're trying to do. After having been through the journey that I that I went through, I use it to give back and basically show other young Latina women that if they want to go into STEM or if they want to go into medicine, um, that they can. And that there is women of their race and of their gender, right? In these careers, not very many, right? And we're hoping to make it more. I've been out of residency seven years now. And so having a little more experience and having met a couple of different girls, when I started doing, you know, some of that mentoring work, you know, some of them now have had the opportunity to graduate college and some of them are pursuing, you know, master level degrees or some of them are trying to go to grad school or some of them are in med school. And so I think, you know, I, I think a lot of the benefits are going to continue to come. We call it global climate change, and it is, but it affects each of us, no matter where we live, in your city, your town, or your farm. Climate change is having its effect. The more people we are on the planet, the less resources there are for each of us. In my lifetime, we've eradicated two-thirds of wildlife on planet Earth, almost like a mind-boggling scale of loss of life. The Colorado River is drying up. We use and discard so much plastic into the world that it finds its way into our food chain. Joshua Tree National Park, in the next century, all of this could disappear. Sounds grim? Well, it kind of is. I want to build a compost site and help that community stand on their feet. That's what compost power is about. It's about just giving the power to the people. I think, really, we are in the situation that Noah was in. And the question now is, what can we say? How else can I give back? How else can I make my energy matter? We as tribal people, we're very dedicated to our homeland. If we can live in harmony with nature, then we are able to harness nature for these paradigm-shifting solutions. We need to preserve our soil. I mean, the good news is we can build it. Only what you love would you protect, and only what you learn about can you come to love. 